I'm drinking. We don't, I don't know that we need this. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And today, tonight, we talk today. about... Today. It's today. It's 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> what if it's 9 in the morning and we're getting into it? I don't know. When this video goes out, it's 11.30 in the That's morning. That's a good point. This afternoon, we talk about how to find yourself some rare whiskey. Ba, 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 ba. These are pretty rare. Yeah. Most of those are pretty rare. Decently. How to find rare whiskey. Hey. Listen, this is a thing that everybody wants. Yeah. And there are answers to this question. Some you're not gonna like. We have been fortunate in our hookup and luck based and These lips. raffles <laughs> and apparently sexual innuendos. <laughs> um, five ways to find rare whiskey. Here we go, number one. You're at it, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> number one, unfortunately, I'm just gonna break your hearts right now and say you're gonna have to pay secondary. There are some bottles that it's just never gonna come to you. Sorry. Why you started the most pessimistic way? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down. Okay, so and you then know, I'm gonna build you on you're up. a bad news first kind of person. Yeah, and then a good news at the end. Yep, hundred percent. Wow. I'm gonna break you on down. Well, now that everybody quit watching this because they heard gotta pay secondary. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm. It's unfortunate. It's just gonna happen. Okay, or something. One that is doing. one way to get rare whiskey. But the easiest way to get rare whiskey. Yeah, let's that, put it that way. That That's a good easy, way to start it. Easiest the way. Easiest way to get rare whiskey and the most guaranteed way to get rare whiskey. You're just gonna get bent over backwards. Spend a shit ton of money. Yeah. Now, do we support it? No. Yeah. No, it better be like it better be like a meaningful bottle if you're gonna. In my opinion, if you're there gonna are secondary. very few that we we've even talked about some that are worth it on secondary prices. Almost, almost none. Not a lot. Yeah. Um, most of the ones we're willing to pay secondary for aren't that rare necessarily. They should or that here. expensive, yeah. So we just can't here. find them. Yeah. So we'll pay that, you know, maybe 25% markup on it. Whatever. So, number one. Sorry. Secondary, or it's not it's not necessarily on secondary markets, we're saying, but we know local, local-ish local stores that yeah. have had very, that have had George C. Staggs for 500 bucks for a long time. Yeah. Listen, as far as I know, they sold that, George C. Stag. Yeah. As far as I know. Father's Day. As far as I know. So I'm just saying, an easy Secondary way to get prices it. prices come, yeah. An easy way or an easier way to get rare whiskey is pay way more money. Much. Go to New York, because my wife found a ton of it there, and it's all overpriced. Well, number two. How do you get number two, Damn. You want me to do number two? Yeah. Build, just, them, build them back up a little bit. <laughs> so you can build crush them back everybody up a little bit. again? Yeah. Uh, I would say number two is build a relationship with your local store. Oh. So. If you have a local store near you and they get any allocation of whiskey, yep. there's a chance that they get rare allocated whiskey. And there's also a chance if that local store owner is into whiskey or even if they're not. Listen, when we Best started case scenario. when we started uh, talking to Sean and hanging out with Sean over at our local store, he wasn't really into it. He liked scotch, but he wasn't he really did. into whiskey. Yeah. Was definitely wasn't really into bourbon. Not at all. Uh, he still got like we still got a CYPB from him. Yep. We still got a lot of bottles on this shelf behind us from mm. from their store. So yeah, support your local store. Yeah, listen, spying store picks, yeah. going in there and hanging out and just chatting sometimes. Going in there on days they don't get their delivery and hanging out and chatting. You bring him some samples maybe that you have. Oh yeah, share. We've opened bottles in the store with him because he let us buy a certain Absolutely. bottle. So uh, I think that is probably I wouldn't I. I would say that that's the most rewarding that's, way to do it. That's definitely the way to go first, because you'll probably meet some cool people along the that's way. That's the thing. We, so, we hang out with Sean outside yeah. of that whole thing now. Like, I, I'll hang out with Sean any given day of the week. So it was cool. We got, <laughs> I don't care. Don't judge hmm? me, dude. I, apparently, it's a thing with me and Sean. I don't know what it is, but no, you, it's a good way to make friends. Yeah. It's a good way to, you know, find, find like possibly people. find rare whiskeys. So, yeah. all right, dude, what's number three? Uh, numero three is also just, uh, you know, maybe meet some cool people along the way that might also help you find some rare bottles in the form of a bottle sharing. Yeah, bottle shares are a good way to get rare with, to get your, uh, 
mouth on rare whiskey. You know, maybe you're gonna do this with some people that are spread across the, you know, the geographic location of the United yeah. States. Or that, even your state. Down south, it helped a lot. Even your state, yeah. realistically. But understandably, not everyone's gonna go pay for, you know, that thousand dollar Willet you know, or something yeah. along those lines. Yep. So you have people that will, you know, cut that cost with you, share the bottle out. You get less whiskey, but you're also paying wildly, wildly less for the price tag of the bottle. Especially if you don't care to keep, if you don't care to have the physical, actual bottle. Yeah. So here's the thing, hear me out. So let's pretend that this bottle was $600. It, it wasn't, but let's pretend it was. We found it on shelves for $600. We found, we've seen it on shelves and not bought it for yeah. 600 bucks. If you had six people, as a hundred of person, yeah. if you've never had this and you really want and you really wanted it, I don't think that that's a terrible deal. No, and you're gonna get wildly more than you will at a bar for a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Now, okay. it's not a bad idea to try stuff at a bar before you go in spending that much money. Yeah. But if we go to a bar and see this for 50, you're getting a hell of a lot more for your hundred at that point, a sixth of a bottle or, a, yeah. or an ounce. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, you're getting four ounces basically yeah. at that point in time. Yeah. So bottle share seemingly, bottle share with people around the state, yeah. stuff like that. Number four. Number fourth, four. Fourth way to find rare whiskey, depending on your state. Some st state, all the states don't handle whiskey allocations the same. Oh. Ohio does not handle whiskey allocations like Michigan or Kentucky and so on and so forth. So. They're awful. The, a uh, uh, not a guaranteed way, but a no. lot of times the cheapest way to get rare whiskey yep. is go to raffles in your state. Ohio yeah. does uh, states state like lottery. lotteries. Yep. Um, what you got to do is you find the stores or the government or the the place where the government does the raffle or the lottery. And Michigan, right? Michigan, the government doesn't do it. No. But stores around Michigan do these instead of giving the bottles out in their store. Yep. Uh, most of the time, not all the time, but mm -hmm. a lot of time. Um, You'll get the bottle for around retail. Yeah. You'll get it generally well under secondary. There, there are places even down in Kentucky that we know of that they do, they get allocated whiskey and then will raffle a chance off to mm -hmm. buy them. So it, it's, every state probably has one. Yeah. You just have to find where they're going at yeah. and you pay whatever you have at your shot of winning that at probably, most likely it's going to be MSRP. Yeah. It's the most places we found or a, a small upcharge for a little. the bottle. Yeah. What was the, okay, so for example, We've gotten an old Rip Van Winkle for like 80-ish. Yeah. We've gotten a Pappy 23 for 300-ish. 300 yep. How much was the Pappy 23 this year at the raffle we went to? I had to look up. It was like 500. I think so. It was, it was or 500. drastic, I would say drastically above retail, but, but not a price everybody in there was secondary. still gonna pay that. Oh yeah, right? without even thinking yeah. of it. So oh. now some people are gonna flip it, but that's not the point. So yeah, <laughs> if you want Pappy 23 and you want the B-Tax and you want all these and you're in the United States, the easiest, or I'm sorry, the cheapest way is go to the, a lot of these raffles aren't that much to get in. Though, the thing. It's all so, luck based. This is yeah. pure luck based. Um, and Usually trying to find the places that are um, not pay to win also. Yep. So everyone so, has yeah. the, the same shot. We, you know, me and Dan both walk in, we each get a ticket, that type of deal. Yep. Now I walked in with a thousand dollars of donations and Dan walked in with 10. Yep. More likely than not, you're not gonna win. Your chances are better than mine though. Yep. Okay. Number five. What's number five, Dan? Number five, number five way to find Prairith whiskey. Five, five way. It is uh, hunt, travel. Yeah, be we, willing to travel, be okay, willing to. Yeah, we talked about that. Yep, Invest be, your time into it. Time, um, uh, listen. You're gonna have to do a lot of seat hours in your car. Yep. Find places that you know get allocated bottles yep. and be willing to drive a big Dude, ass Find places that you don't think get allocated bottles because you might That's find true. dusties. Yeah, you can hunt different areas. Um, Dude, I tell you what, there shade. There are a lot of shady liquor stores with yeah. old wild turkeys. And Your stuff like odds that. of getting a shot are almost up there with the odds of finding something cool. Uh, it, it's just. Whatever that time that you put into it, that's kind of what you're gonna get out of it. So um, the yeah. one, the other, I think, I don't know how to phrase it. Kay. Let's put it this way. I used to, every, I used to know every delivery in town, every uh, liquor store's day that delivery they would get day. liquor. Yeah. Um, when I knew that, I would go to those stores on those days and I would oh, be yeah. in those stores every day. Listen, I found uh, a couple Elmer T. Lees for 40 bucks yep. when we can't find that up here. Uh, I found some like antique 107s, which we yep. don't get up here at all. Ever. Um, now, uh, what else? I can't, I'm not, I can't think of anything I found that was like, I never found a couple a, old fits. I found a beat. I found two George T. Stags that way. Yep. On accident. 
that were a hundred dollars each, and or not, yeah, ninety nine ninety nine each. Um, yeah, I found an old Fitz that way. Mm -hmm. I found a, uh, um, what's the or the Curacao finish, Parker's Heritage. Parker's Heritage. So yeah, that's I the thing. That. And these are all just local stores that I there. I found just, two Elmers in the store. I don't even think gets allocated whiskey. <laughs> sometimes delivery they just mistakes. Get it. Yeah. Sometimes things happen like. There's one of the worst stores in our town. Exactly. Get, got like Weller a handful of times when none of the other stores in town Bit got any. Sketchy. I'm like, you'll be surprised what you can find if you're willing to. But now that took a lot of time. Every yeah. lunch, I was just going and doing that. Yeah. It took a lot of time and it's exhausting. And you got to walk into stores and sometimes you don't, don't buy. Don't expect you anything. You're going to be disappointed more often than not. You can't afford to buy stuff every time you go in. Yeah. I sometimes I go in and buy like an energy drink or like a water or something because so I feel bad. Because yeah. I'm like, I came in your store, I kind of feel like I should buy something. But You're buying water, a case, <laughs> one at a time. Just, <laughs> yeah. I have seven cases of water, but they're all individually yeah. packed. Paid so much money for that. Yeah, and especially if you can do it around your whole state, you'll yeah. eventually find something. I found Midwinter Night's Dram in the middle of summer for 108 bucks. Yeah. Because I did I'll that. walk in the random places and text him and be like, hey, fun on yep. Midwinter Night, you want one? Yeah. Well, I got three. So okay. I think that that is, uh, it's an acceptable if you have the time and means to do it. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, that's partially based on luck too, but you up your chances. That, that's about as much luck as lottery. I think it's less luck than lottery. Because you're just hitting store after store after store. You might, somebody just found a George C. Stag in the UP. Oh yeah. I don't know how whiskey even gets up there. I don't know how it's physically possible. Fucking Balto runs his ass <laughs> yeah. up there with it. Like some guy on a dog sled in the middle of summer is just going yeah. to the dunes. So, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I feel like that is a, a pretty solid way to get it. I think, um, we've gotten our most probably through either store relationships. Store relationships. Yep. And they are and more just pounding pavement and yeah. looking for bottles. Hunting. Yeah. Listen, those are five ways to find rare whiskey. One of those ways may or may not work for you. One of you Probably might one. live out in the middle of BFE even more than we do, and you might not be able to find rare whiskey, and then you get to look at option yeah. one. I'm sorry. Or travel for work and look when you travel. <laughs> you people are that's lucky number six. that can travel oh. for work. Yeah, that's number six. There you go. That's six ways to find rare whiskey. If you enjoy it and you also are looking for whiskey. Other than that, it sucks. Yeah. We're, uh, we're in Birmingham. We are. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. And yeah. I hope... You made if, it through this video. You know what? If you found a rare whiskey... Let us know how you got Using it. any of those five, let us know in the comments below. Tell us your coolest whiskey story. My coolest yeah. one's walking into Meyer and finding two George C. Stags for 100 bucks each. Bought both of them. He has one, I have one. Something like that. It's hiding. Yeah, I opened mine, so... I'm, <laughs> Because he, he was long pouring the other one in. Right? That's true. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Like, we appreciate it. Comment, subscribe. For everything. Or you, I think we said all these below. things. Yeah. Probably. Thanks for watching.